So now what's happened here is you've had threads that had a problem for one reason or another. Yeah. And many you've, reasons. <laughs> what? Many reasons. And then you've put pennies there to hold it tightly. Yes. And that's the one that you want tension on. But some yeah. of them it doesn't look like you want tension on. Well, so some of them are not being used. You throw through them backwards. Yeah. They were extra. And what happened here with these that are going in different directions? Uh, they one. got wound on there, but they needed to be threaded here. Oh, I see. Uh, usually it means one color got threaded where it was wrong. So you had to take one color out, put a different color in, oh. and that color wasn't always in the same place. <laughs> before you add the new thread. Mm -hmm. So you actually finish this completely before you... No, no. Finish this bit. That's what I mean. Mm -hmm. So she's going to show us how we join, like, the difference between two... Two pieces of fabric, they will eventually be separated. So right now you're just finishing off that piece of yarn. Yes. Yeah. And if you were doing a matching scarf or something here, you would um, join on the same yarn, but I'm running out of this, so I'm going to use some chenille. And it won't be a, a scarf or anything. And you leave the end out like that. Okay. And then when you start your new thread, where's my chenille? Um, using a bulky thread, you don't get very much on a bobbin, so sometimes using a stick shovel is the thing to do. You're making an X on there instead of just going on the front of it. I put uh, 25 on each side so that it's spread out a bit more. I see. And this also keeps it flat so it'll yes. go through a narrow shed. And then you're just going on again in the center. And then back to the sides. So this is about the width of a of a whole line, a whole row. So you're kind of counting off how much you're gonna to need to make your eyeglasses case, right? Well, I could do that. I'm just counting till I get the end out and also so that I get about the same amount on each. Twenty-five here, twenty-five there, twenty-five there. Okay. Okay, I'm coming from this direction with this yarn. Okay. And I'm leaving, say, an inch and a half or so. So I'm going to start in here, about an inch and a half before the end of it. and leave an end out. 
And if you use the same yarns, you can't usually see that after it's washed. Okay. So right now you're not doing anything differently than you would just normally. Yeah. Except if you've left those ends out. Yes, and what I would do is wash it and then cut them flush with the surface. Okay. So if they're going to shrink or anything, they don't uh, become too short for the hole in the fabric that they're in there. Mm hmm so are you going to do anything else with this now? Other, are you just now on I'm just your making next? yardage. So okay. now you're just going on. So that I'm was your... That was it. And why did you pull it out instead of just leaving it in a line and then putting the next one over well, top it of over, it? Well, it overlaps in this area right here from here, to, right from here to here. They're overlapping. Right. And that's enough. And you can make it invisible after you if you cut it after it's washed, not before it's washed. Well, now if you had if you had not let these hang out, if you just ended them in the row, overlapping, what would the difference be? I don't know. This is the way I was showing how to do it. Oh, okay. So and there's uh, a reason it, for this. Uh, probably the ends fuzz or something. I don't know. Oh, okay. Anyway, this works. And I can see where I did the join. Okay, and so now when you go to separate them. How? You mean when I cut them apart? Yeah, when you cut Before them Before I cut them, I'll zigzag on each side of my cutting line. Oh, okay. Okay, so there will be two lines of zigzag across there. Okay. And then I'll wash it. And then I'll zigzag along the lines I'm going to cut for the glasses cases or whatever it is I make out of them. Okay. I remember when I would make a dress or something, the pattern would often say to um, stitch, edge stitching, or I can't remember what it was called, but... Some kind of finish. You were supposed to, before you even started using your, um, using your fabric, as soon as you cut out your pieces, you were supposed to stitch so far from the very edge. It keeps them from losing their shape, particularly mm -hmm. if your fabric is loosely woven. Mm -hmm. well, thank you for showing that. Mm -hmm. 